Shortly after we landed, we dropped our stuff off at the hotel and then we went immediately to the Harry Potter experience. Uh, it was in Watford, so it was a bit of a trek to get from the centre of London back to the outskirts of London, but it was definitely worth the experience. Um, yeah, we just saw so many different attractions and scenes from the movie and a lot of the sets. Uh, it was like bringing back all the childhood memories that I had uh, from being a huge Harry Potter fan, from reading the books, from yeah, watching the movies, it was really great. So I've inserted a couple of photos as well um, in the places where I didn't take videos. I also finally tried the famous butter beer, which was really wonderful. My friend and I had uh, yeah, a mug each. It was a really unusual flavor, but we loved it. Um, yeah, there's so many different things to see. This one was Snape's lab, uh, the potions class. Um, they didn't have the actual mannequins or statues of the characters, but that's okay. I think from the outfits you can tell which character is which. And this pot was really cool. It was actually stirring itself, which was like, yeah, felt like magic. Um, this was Dumbledore's office, which was pretty amazing. Dumbledore is probably like my favorite character from Harry Potter. Um, I don't know if I actually inserted a clip from the Pensieve, I probably didn't, but that was also there, it was pretty cool. I think this was the Gryffindor Lounge, possibly? Um, yeah, and then we're just walking around. The set is so huge. They literally said it could take you up to two to three hours to tour the whole place. I think we managed to do an hour and a half, maximum two hours, and we saw so much stuff. Great, great hall. Um, we also went to the Forbidden Forest, we saw the common rooms, um, yeah, it just felt like really a tour of the entire Harry Potter um, story. Uh, that was the cupboard under the stairs where Harry used to sleep. Um, they had a lot of cardboard cutouts for the different characters. Oh, here is at the Tower of London. So the next day we went kind of doing some sightseeing. We went to the Tower of London. This was the changing of the guard, I believe. Um, and we got to go inside the tower. We toured outside. It rained a lot that day, but it was okay. There were a lot of children on school trips, so it was a little bit crowded at some moments. And you know how school kids are, very excited, very uh, loud and rambunctious, but it was nice. It was cute to see them out with their classes on a Friday, reminding me of when I was a kid. Um, and then we walked uh, down the, I don't even know what you call that river, but we walked along until we got to the Tate Modern Museum. And I was dreaming of going to the museum for quite a long time. We had some pretty cool attractions in there, so it was definitely worth it. I think it's great that the museums in Britain are free entry. It's uh, pretty good in the Netherlands as well because you can get a museum card for about 60 euros for the whole year and see everything that you want. But in the UK, completely free um, and this museum was really great because I love modern art. We went for coffee, had a nice matcha latte, uh, then the next day, I think this might have been Saturday, was it? I can't even remember. The clips are in a interesting order. I went to the gym. <laughs> I look so serious because it's not my usual gym, it's the hotel gym and I was trying to figure out like how do I do my usual exercises in a strange place. So I normally do a machine at my regular gym at home where I lift weights over my head but they didn't have that so I picked up these dumbbells but my goodness they look small but they were heavy AF <laughs> so I was struggling a little bit but I tried not to show it in the video um, but it was a good workout however although the trip was for four days I think I only worked out for one so day while I, I was there the gym. workout was I'm so intense because it wasn't the usual machines and, and I maybe pushed morning, myself a little bit much that after the workout I was like a bit sore and I thought you know what I don't want to spend most of the trip being sore because I know we're going to do a lot of walking and running around so let me keep it light and just do that one day so I did the dumbbells I did the treadmill I think they also had a cross trainer yes they did and uh yeah it was a it was a good experience I didn't use the app machine because they didn't have one I didn't want to lay on the floor of the hotel but the Jim had a pretty good view of the outside, so you could kind of look out onto the street while you're running, but it also felt like a fishbowl because people could also look inside. 
<laughs> at the same time. Um, oh, we went to the Lion King. It was the best experience ever. I loved the Lion King as a kid, and the show was amazing. But we couldn't film, so that was only the preview of the show starting. And then we went on the London Eye. I think we were so efficient with the planning. We got to see so much, and I've been to London many times before. But just having a chill trip to sightsee and with one of my friends, my oldest friends, oldest as in we've known each other for a long time not oldest as older we're the same age but the view from the eye was amazing definitely worth it i can understand why people go up there to get proposed proposed to or to get engaged i should say and we went on a river cruise um it was also part of the package so you go on the cruise first around the area near the eye and then after the cruise you get on the eye itself it said 30 minutes but it felt more like 20 minutes on the eye um, it just rotates and then when your um, carriage or whatever you call it comes back around to the bottom you get off I think this is Parliament there you can see the eye this was before we went on the weather was pretty decent on this day it was a little cold but the Sun was out and it wasn't too bad there were some moments on the boat where it was relatively cold and I was like where is this cold breeze coming from but it was weird it depended on which direction you were going in when we were going in the beginning felt warm it was nice when we're coming back it was like this is getting chilly <laughs> so but we enjoyed it nonetheless and there were a lot of people like sightseeing in london i'm always thinking like there's so many millions of people who go there per year but at any given time you can go and the place is still super crowded i'm just like how is that possible but i guess it's like me maybe people keep going back multiple times then we went to camden market this was really a big one because we were searching for this umbrella street for ages I was so excited to see it. And then back to Schiphol Airport. So I landed in the evening on Sunday and then yeah, just rushing out of the airport as fast as I could. I think I was speed walking to get out of the airport and get home because I had to work the next day. Um, I was walking so fast that I was like, oh my gosh, my legs are so tired. When I checked the number of steps that we did over those four days in London, it was a lot. I was like, it's fine that I only went to the gym one day because the amount of exercise that I got cardio-wise, wow. Okay, that's all.